Hello everybody, so today is results day, A level results day, and I thought I would do like my live reaction to my results because why not? But basically I wanted to do a disclaimer at the start of this video because I know a lot of people that have subscribed to my channel for my revision videos or in the past have great confidence within me um, or have great confidence in me and yeah GCSEs were so much easier than A-levels like if I could do that sit my GCSEs now but I'm actually going to do a video where I resit my GCSE maths after doing A level maths and see what I get. And I'm going to resit the paper that I sat because I can't remember what's on it. Um, but anyway, without rambling. So basically, I found A levels pretty difficult. And I think the subjects that I picked, the combination of the three mean that you literally have no time at all. Um, I chose biology, chemistry, and maths. So all of them. And it. It's so it, it is difficult. I found biology and chemistry to be the most difficult and maths to be kind of the more like I was naturally a little bit better at that one but that doesn't mean that I'm going to do well at any of them. Throughout the year, um, both years of doing A-levels I was getting D's and some E's and you know the occasional B and maybe one A, I don't know but it was ranging pretty low. I so I don't have, you know, great expectations with maths. Um, in the first year I did really well. Um, throughout the year I was getting A's and B's and my AS result was a B. So for the first year, because obviously, you know, my course was different when we did AS maths. And then the next year, which is the year I've just done, I found it a lot more difficult and I started to get like E's in some of my like mock papers and you know I did get the occasional B and C but you know it's still a bit concerning that I got some E's so when I sat the papers if you don't um if you didn't watch the videos where I explained what I thought of all of the papers that I sat then I'll link them down below because I did three videos explaining how I thought of each individual exam that I sat so if you've sat the same ones as me then maybe you want to hear my thoughts on them because biology was basically stupid one of the papers was absolutely ridiculous um so if you want to go and see that then i'll link them down below but i do i did ocr biology and chemistry and aqa maths hope i got that right um but yeah so i'm not expecting great things if i'm honest with you i am expecting ease so i just wanted to put a disclaimer there i'm not doing this video because i'm one of those people that's like i've got free a's i am probably gonna get a d and two e's i don't know that is genuinely what I'm expecting. I'm not saying that because, oh yeah, I've got, I'm getting an E. I'm saying that because I genuinely believe that. And if I get anything higher, I'll be really, really happy. I'm not going to lie. Um, but also another disclaimer is that I do have an unconditional to the university that I want to go to. Thank heavens. That doesn't mean to say that I wasn't trying in my exams. It doesn't mean that I wasn't trying when I revised. It just means that you know, I was trying, but I still find it really, really difficult. And it's just, thank God I have that unconditional and it means pressure is not on as much right now. But anyway, I haven't got my results yet. So I'm going to go and get them. I'm going to bring them back here and I'm going to open them live on camera. So yeah, whatever happens, happens. I'm a very positive person. I always look for the positives and everything. So no matter what results I get, I'm going to be, you know, okay, you just move forward with everything in life. There's no point in focusing on the bad things because, you know, you, time just passes by. And if you're spending your time negatively, then why, if you can be positive? So that's what I'm just going to say. So I'll see you in a little while. Right. I'm back. Sorry about the quality of um, where you're balanced. Just gone and got my results. There was quite a lot of people there. Here they are in this little envelope here. I know I seem very positive, but I'm not expecting good grades at all. By the way, if I start laughing as I open these or smiling, that doesn't mean I've got good grades. That's my response to literally every single situation in life is laughing because I can't help it. So let's open these. I'm quite happy to open it on camera. I wasn't nervous for this and I think the more you expect, like the more you're expecting worse grades, the less you worry. I don't know why. I think if I was hoping for good grades, I would worry less. So yeah. God.
wow. Okay, sorry. Oh my god, I'm really happy. Oh my god, how? It takes me some time to process it. Oh my god, right, okay, I'm gonna go through each grade, right. I'm so happy. L literally, this is so much better than I ever expected or ever wanted. Right, okay. Okay, right, I'm happy. Oh my god. I was expecting E. Oh, oh my god. Right, I'm probably going to cut that bit out now because I just sound like an idiot. Okay, so. In. I'm kind of shaking because I know I'm waffling on and I know you're like, Georgie, just say the results. But in biology and chemistry, all. Like, I've struggled so much in those. Like, you won't even believe, like, how much I struggled. And. In the exams, I was literally, on one of the chemistry papers, I literally felt like I didn't get any marks. Like, zero marks. So, biology, I got a C. I'm really happy with that. Chemistry, I got a C. Um, but also, like, literally, in, even at the start of the year, of year one, I thought, if I get a C in those two subjects, I will be absolutely ecstatic. Um... My AS maths was a B, but then I did resit one of the exams. I resit, um, sorry, I resat my, um, I resat statistics one, and that's gone up to an A! Yay! Um, and then my maths for this year that I got, I got a B. So overall, I'm really really happy i know that there's probably going to be people watching this thinking why are you so happy like i got three a's or whatever or three a stars i you know i think i'm just a little bit more on a different level to you um but yeah for me in my personal opinion and how i've been through the year i'm really really happy with these and oh. I'm gonna ring my dad because he was actually like having a slight go at me this morning um because I was like dad I'm gonna get like three oh okay right sorry I'm just happy okay you have no idea like maths I was kind of expecting a little bit higher in maths but yes okay right thank you right I'm sorry if um you got offended by this video in any way you know I don't know why you would be because I'm just telling you my results um but yeah, if you've got any questions down below, I am going to uni, so I will be doing uni videos, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah. And also, I might do a video where I compare my mock results to my actual results and kind of talk about the differences between the mock exams and the actual ones. I think I might do that. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because my channel is very varied in its content. And I will see you in my next video. I would also like to point out that I got a C in my EPQ, which is an extended project qualification. If you know what it is, just thought I'd throw that in there. Thank you.